and then also support the government of uganda has ring fenced some subsectors in the oil and gas value chain for local service providers these include catering security supply of construction materials human resource management communications transport and logistics among others this move is geared at boosting chances of local companies to win bids and tenders we are looking at this project petroleum and gas as a project which is going to spur development in other sectors in agriculture in roads our money is not going to go for payment of salaries no although this is good news for prospective local investors stringent rules and guidelines do apply on her visit of the Stanbic Agribusiness Incubation Hub in Hoima City, Ruth Nankabirwa, the Minister of Energy and Mineral Development, accompanied by her colleagues, the Ministers of State, underscored the need for the citizens to strategically position themselves in order to reap big from provision of local content. She, however, cautioned the public against expecting to earn from where they haven't invested. You don't just pick anything along the way and supply. We have to maintain standards in everything that we are doing. In agricultural production, standards. That's, that's the only way. Otherwise, you will just produce and you will not have the market. So this preparation is very key and it is timely. Over 300 farmers and aggregators have so far benefited from the training facility. You know, we're trying to really work on that whole value chain, looking at, you know, the, the, the model farm, the farm where things are happening, which is run by the one acre farm. And then from there, processing and all of that here, the, the washing, and of course the off-taking by uh, Bobby. That for us is a great contribution to this oil and gas story and also to the general community. But we're also saying this can also happen anywhere in the country. During procurement in the oil and gas sector, Ugandan companies are given 10% advantage before bid evaluation. Relatedly, Ruth Nankabiro has commissioned a police post at Chakaboga village in Buseruka sub-county, Hoima district. The police post constructed by a local company is part of the resettlement action plan undertakings for the project affected persons who are displaced from land that houses the Kabale Industrial Park. Uh, we do coordinate with other entities and we'll continue working with them to ensure we fulfill all our obligations in this resettlement village. And we are actually very grateful and uh, uh, thankful for, to the, for officials from government for giving local contractors uh, such uh, uh, projects because when uh, we get uh, them uh, very many people benefit uh, from the contracts. The petroleum sector is transitioning from the exploration phase to the development and production phase that is expected to bring in investments worth $20 billion before fast oil flows in 2025. What remains to be seen is whether Ugandans are ready to partake on these multi-billion projects. Dennis Igoa and Juman Samba for UBC News.